everyone, it's Daisy Styles. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this western saddle for model horses. I know a lot of you guys have been wanting this tutorial, so I hope you enjoy. If you do make this craft, please credit me if you post it on any social media, and if you do post it on Instagram, please tag me so I can see what you've made. Well, without further ado, let's get started. The materials you'll need for this tutorial will be... To start off, I took some thick paper and cut off a piece like this, and this is going to be one half of the saddle tree. Then I placed it on top of a sheet of clay. I'm using paper clay here, but I would recommend epoxy sculpt. And I traced around it with a needle. And then I cut it out following the lines. Then I wrapped some plastic wrap around the belly of the horse to protect it. So I cut out two of those saddle tree shapes and then laid them out on the horse and then connected them at the top with a small snake of clay. I formed a horn-like shape out of wire and then stabbed it into the gullet. Now I cut out a shape like this out of a soda can and then glued it onto the saddle tree. And I'm going to be honest, you can probably use just more clay to get a smoother result. But since I'm using paper clay, I thought it would make it more sturdy. Now I cut this kind of banana shape out of a thick piece of leather. I shaved it down with a blade and then attached it to the saddle. But I ended up using clay instead for a smoother result. I cut out a bigger banana shape out of clay and then attached it to the back of the saddle to make the cantle. Then I took a thin piece of leather and attached it to the horn, making sure not too much glue was spilling out. Using another sheet of leather, I cut a small hole into it and then gently thread it over the horn. Then I cut, folded, and glued it in place around the gullet. Now taking a darker leather, I cut three slits in it like this. Then I glued it onto the seat of the saddle tree. Then I glued the flaps that we just cut down into the gap there. And then I cut a bunch of small cuts all along the edge of the cantle, and then glue them down. Then glue a, another piece of leather to the back of the cantle, and cut along the edge. Then cut a piece like this that is the same curve as the cantle. Then fold it over. This part can be a little bit tricky because it is a curve, but just do your best. Then glue it onto the back edge of the cantle. And this is what we have so far. Then I marked out a shape like this on a piece of leather that is the length from the gullet to the edge of the cantle. And basically it should fit the curvature of the saddle. Then when I had made sure it fits to the saddle, I made a line like this and cut on the line. And then make one for the opposite side too. And glue them on. Then I also cut out some pieces of leather like this to make the stirrup leathers. And I just glue them on under the stirrup flap. Then I cut out a pretty thin piece of metal from a soda can. And then glued on some leather. I folded it over on both sides. And then bent it into a stirrup-like shape. Then using a thick needle, I poked holes on the top of both sides. Then I fed a thinner needle with a flat silver head through the holes. Then I cut it off using some wire cutters on the other side and secured it with some super glue. Then I used the small little flap on the end of the stirrup leathers to fold over and glue the stirrups in place. And repeat on the other side. Then I marked and cut on a piece of leather like this, the inner curve being able to fit around the bottom of the cantle. It should look something like this. Then I glued that piece onto the pieces of the saddle tree that are still sticking out. Now I used a little bit thicker piece of leather to make a square that is just a little bit bigger than the whole saddle, excluding the stirrups. Then I cut a dip in the front there, just so you can see all the way through the hole on the front. Then I marked and cut two small indents in the side, and I would recommend starting to just cut very small and just working your way bigger. Then I glued it onto the underside of the saddle. Make four half circle shapes like this out of wire. You can also use jump rings if you prefer. 
Then attach small leather strips to all of them. Two of them should be glued on either side like this. Then the last two should be glued where we just cut those lips. Just some details left now. Cut a shape like this out of a thin piece of leather. And then make two. Then use a mechanical pencil with no lead in it and make two holes on the bottom of it. Then use a craft knife to cut on either side so it leaves us with an oblong shape. Then using one of those needles with a flattish head, stab it through the top. And then just stab it in just in front of the gullet. And then cut off the excess making sure none of it is left poking out. Then repeat that on the other side. To add some details, I'm going to cut a small piece of brown thread and I'm going to tie it around the small silver stud. And of course, repeat on the other side. I'm going to cut the head of one of those needles and glue it on the saddle like this. I also made two small half circles and attached leather strips to them as well. Then I made a small slit in the saddle right here and thread the little loops through and glue them down on the back side. Now I'm going to be using some very thin wool colored felt which I made by mixing yellow and brown acrylic paint, mix it, mixing it in water, dunking some felt in it, letting it dry and then separating it to make a thin layer of it. Then I glued it onto the underside of the saddle to conceal all the ugly parts. I cut a pretty thick strap of leather and again I used the mechanical pencil to add six holes. Then I folded it over and glued it down on the ring on the saddle. And repeat on the other side. Now to make the flank cinch, I'm going to make two squares out of wire. Then I'm also going to make a very very small loop on the end of a short length of wire. And make that two. Then I'm going to open one of the wire squares and put on the little loop. Close it and then repeat that on the other one. Now I'm going to cut a strip of leather that fits a little bit over halfway around the horse's flank. Then I'm going to fold over the tip and then cut a very very small slit in the middle. Then put the small wire piece through the slit and fold and glue it down. And repeat on the other side. I'm also going to glue a thin piece of leather just under the buckle to act as a strap holder. Then you can attach the flank cinch to the flank billet just as you would on a real saddle. Make two more of these billets and attach them to the ring under the stirrup. And of course, repeat on the other side. Make two more of those buckles, just making half circles instead of squares. And then also make three of these small half circle shapes. I took six pieces of thread that are a little bit longer than I want my finished cinch to be. Then I'm going to take a thin piece of leather and thread one of the small half circle shapes on it. Then I glue that on the middle of the threads, making sure the half circle is in the middle. Then I thread the two last half circle shapes on either side of the leather. And then fold and glue down the leather on the wrong side. And it should look like this. Then thread on the buckle, making sure the tongue of the buckle is in the middle so it has three threads on either side of it. Then cut, fold, and glue down the threads on the wrong side again. And repeat on the other side. Then to make a tassel for the girth, I used black and brown thread and collected them on the top with a jump ring. Then I wrapped some thin thread around the top. Sorry for the blurry picture, but I just cut it off at a nice length. And it should look something like this. Then I attached it to the middle jump ring of the cinch. Tighten the cinch and it's done! I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And I'm sorry if this was too hard to follow. I mean it's a pretty hard craft to begin with, so to explain it too, it gets pretty hard. But I hope you found it understandable. And if you did, please let me know down in the comments. And if you do make this craft, please tag me on Instagram. My name is Daisy Stalls. I also just want to give a small shout out to my friend Schleichsieve on Instagram and YouTube. She is just such a lovely person and she has such a stunning Instagram and YouTube, so go give her a follow. 
But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe if you want to. Also, if you have any video ideas you would like to see in the future, comment them down below too.